I'm Jennifer Simonetti Bryan, Master of Wine, and this is a first of a series of videos with great wine news about wine quality. So what is wine quality? Is it subjective or objective? When I first got into the wine industry, um, I bought a really great bottle of Red Burgundy, a 1996 Grand Zéchizeau, and I wanted to share this high quality wine with my family. You know, in Burgundy, Grand Cru is the pinnacle of quality, right? So I wanted to share this with them. This is an ethereal experience. So when I went to my family, who really doesn't drink a whole lot of wine, they didn't back then and they don't now, but when I gave them the wine, they didn't really say too much about it. And then I left the room for a minute, and when I came back, I found that they had poured it into a pitcher with 7-Up. And I'll never forget that they kept saying, no, I, it's, it's not a very good wine. It's not a very good wine. I, I don't like it very much. That's why we had to add 7-Up to it. So um, after I stopped crying, because it was a $200 bottle of wine, um, I realized that so many people think this way, that, that wine quality is directly related to personal preference. Now, I agree that you should only drink wines that you personally like. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Even if it's high quality, you know, you, you have to drink what you like, right? But as professional wine tasters, we have to look past our personal preferences to see what about this wine is quality. So what are the parameters of quality? What are the objective parameters for quality? Now, in the Master of Wine exam, uh, as candidates, we had to learn fast because there was 36 wines we had to identify blind, and we had to identify the quality level, so the, the price point, and was it a good quality for that price point? So if you thought it was a $50 Napa cab, was it a good, excellent, or poor quality $50 cab? So in order to do that, um, I came up with an acronym, and it's called Fablicit. Yeah, I know, it's not a word, but it helped me keep things in my head when looking at quality in wines. So let's go through them. Uh, Finesse, balance, length, integration, complexity, concentration, ageability, and typicity. So those are parameters for quality. Some are um, objective, and you may argue that some of them are subjective, but we're going to go through each one of these, take them apart, put them back together again, and we're going to also talk about how a critic, or maybe a group of critics, can look at the same wine differently. And we'll also get into food and wine um, pairing quality as well. So for the next video, if you want to taste with me, you don't have to, but if you would like to, we're going to go through elements of finesse. So what I'd like you to do is get a, a Sancerre or an unoaked Sauvignon Blanc. So until next time, thank you for watching Great Wine News and cheers.